You might say Brandon Stidham's job is a walk in the park. Well, that's because literally it is. Today he's starting this hike along this North County trail. And as he drags this canvas flag across the tall grass and shrubs, he's confident he'll find what he's looking for. I'd like to hang out on the slope side where it gets less sun and it's more shady, it's more humid. And within minutes, success. Actually, we got one right here. It's a male Dermacenter occidentalis, it's the Pacific Coast tick. Although this method of flagging might seem strange, it is actually a highly effective way to capture ticks so vector control can test them for disease. Right here, we got, got a couple more. Ticks find hosts by an interesting behavior known as questing. Once they detect heat and carbon dioxide from an upcoming animal, they quickly climb up the stems of grass or perch on the edges of leaves, waiting to latch on to whatever brushes against them. All right, so on this last sweep of the flag, we got uh, about seven ticks here, male and female. We have a lot of ticks in the county, that's a fact, but we're pretty lucky in the fact that we don't seem to have a whole lot of tick transmitted disease. Ticks are among the most efficient carriers of disease for many reasons. A tick is armed with a barbed snout, so when it bites, it attaches firmly to their host. They also feed slowly and may go unnoticed for a considerable amount of time while feeding. Although vector ecologist Chris Conlon helps monitor all tick transmitted diseases, the two most common are Lyme disease and tularemia. So we'll keep monitoring and if we do find a hot spot for one of the diseases that we're watching for, it gives us an opportunity to warn the public to take proper precautions if they choose to go hiking in that area. People spending time in areas where ticks are commonly found should take precautions. Try and stay on marked wide trails and walk in the center to avoid the grass or bushy areas. When you go hiking, try to wear long, light-colored clothing if you can. Uh, tucking your pants into your shoes helps. Wearing some uh, mosquito repellent that contains the active ingredient DEET, because um, that's repellent to ticks as well. And check yourself for ticks as you come back from your hike and periodically throughout the hike as well if you're going to be out there for a while. Um, because generally they'll wander around on you for quite some time. So generally you can catch them and just flick them off if they happen to be on your arm or your leg or something like that. If you do happen to get unlucky and one decides to burrow in and bite, you'll know it because you'll try to pull it off and your skin's kind of pulling up with it. Um, if that happens, the best thing to do is grab a pair of tweezers, grab it down as close to the head as you possibly can, and pull it out straight and steady. All right, so we got two males here. Just going to grab them and put them in the vial. Once Brandon's vials are full, it's back to the lab. And happy trails to you. Every now and then someone will ask me what I'm doing. I just tell them I work for the county, I'm tick flagging, and uh, just make sure you guys are safe.